Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today I wanted to ruin another car with full rev gear ratios. I wanted to pick something strange because the general rule of thumb was anything over a thousand horsepower can't full rev and be competitive. But I got to thinking that there needs to be more involved with that, like maybe weight of the vehicle. And that got me thinking with the Dodge Ram, can I uh, full rev it? So... Clearly, I can full rev it. Now, I've had 7.307, 7.300, 7.311. I've had some very good ETs on this truck. And these ratios have probably only existed for maybe half an hour. But I'm, as long as I shift very well, I'm like top five every single race on this car. And granted, yes, it's not raced very often, but this is one of the weirder cars I've ever made ratios for. So you're going to want to follow the supercharged setup for this vehicle. Make sure you don't have any engine damage. Make sure your oil life is bugged. Um, AKA just race your damn car. And here's the gear ratios. Now the gear ratios may look a little strange. The gear ratios will never hit rev limit in sixth gear before the end of the race. I, I tried. I worked on them for a little bit and... We'll call these generation one ratios because they never hit proper rev limit, else they were slower. So we're going to leave these alone and I'm going to go do some races. I'll just do them against a uh, good old Scotty here because that feels a little bit easier for videos at least. But the way I race this thing is a tad strange. You want to wait a minute to hit your nitrous button, just like the Mustang ratios. Oh my god. That's number one leaderboard had I RT'd. First run out, 7.308. Even with like a .51, that would have been leaderboard. I think there's some people that can hit 7.29s in this, but I haven't seen it. So I'm sure they can, though. Oh, man. But yeah, 7.308. That's third fastest ET I've had in this truck. But yeah, when you race this truck, you want to have clutch down, full rev up. And you want to wait a good, like, tenth of a second before you hit your nitrous. It's kind of hard to explain it. But basically, if you're, like, watching the RPM needle drop, around 4,000 is when you want to hit the NOS button. It seems counterintuitive to wait, but it works. I don't understand. Oh, there's a .5. Let's see what I run. The, the shifts weren't perfect. Shifting, you want to do it right between the yellow line and the red line here. I never, I don't seem to wait until rev limit on this vehicle because it seems to be slower if you do that overall. And with full rev cars, you don't really want to over rev, which is kind of counterintuitive. And there even are some races I've had with this where even tire spin gets me a really good ET. Unlike with the Mustang, where it's like, if you tire spin, expect to run the slowest time you've ever seen. Oh, I kind of messed that up. But, let's see. 7330. That's another, like, top five time. Let's see. Somebody's going to be sending me races with truck. There it is. I knew Unsung couldn't resist. I sent him a whole bunch in a different recording, but I just could not seem to get shifts down because I was talking too much. So let's focus. That's one of those weird launches. I hit nitrous too soon. 7384 ain't bad. He got a 741. That's really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I made a post on the Discord um, because everybody was thinking you couldn't full rev something this fast, and I wanted to prove it wrong. Oh, my God. Freaking stop spinning, man. This is why I've had to re-record this like four times. 
317. Good run from him, dude. Let's uh let's focus up on this one. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna turn game audio on. And I'm gonna just mute my mic and you'll just listen to natural sounds of V1. It looks like I have some work to do. Definitely have some work to do. We'll call this generation one uh, as far as gear ratios. And I'll definitely hit them 7.29s. But right now we'll go back to game audio and I'll hope for another good run. Yeah, it looks like I'm not getting another crazy good run here, but you guys saw the 7308. I'm just getting a little bit unlucky, but you know, that's everybody, and I definitely have a lot of work to do on these ratios anyway, so I'm going to keep working at them. You'll probably see a Generation 2 video come out for these ratios soon, but at least everybody has a starting point. A freaking .5 on a tire spin. Who would have thought? 7369 again. You have a truck? Yes, you do. Let's go. I'll do a couple more and then we'll just call it quits because I also need to leave. So, that one over rev just a bit, which is a bit strange for full rev, but let's see what happens. 312. Holy crap, I'm glad I stayed for another one. <laughs> there it is, man. You guys can see how fast this thing has the potential of being with full rev. I'm going to keep working at these ratios, and we're going to hope that I can make this thing competitive in the 7.29s. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.